So far, they both started off with a home game. This game will really show who wants to keep going in their in the playoffs. Winner moves on to the semifinals. Which I think is at Stellos. Winner of this game will move on to Stellos um, on November 6th at 4 p.m. to play the winner of Pinkerton Nashua North. Central taking the field. Going with the two ref system today. Once they advance to the semifinals, there will be three refs. This is the last time the Bedford girls seniors will be playing at the stadium. They move on to Stellos next, which is a neutral site. Again, I'm interested to see how Bedford young lineup will match up against Central off the start here. Central has a lot of seniors coming, but starting right now. It'll be interesting to see how they are next year. A lot of young players. Central will be starting with the ball, going from the right of your screen to the left. Ben Bedford will be defending the left. Bedford's goal has got the uh, sun in her eyes for the first half. Emily Duchesne and uh, Tori Vincent in the middle. Emily number 13 and Tori number 9. And they're off. Bedford gets possession, keeping control of the ball in the middle of the field. Moving it forward. And ball out of bounds. It'll be central throw near midfield. And out of bounds again. Bedford with the ball. Asha Steele playing up to Rachel Frobrick. Bringing it down the right side. Central gets possession. To Emily Duchesne. Which is then taken away. Bedford with possession. Quickly taken over by Emily Duchesne again. Played out of bounds by Lauren Phelps. Or Janelle Mackman, sorry. Out of bounds for a goal kick. Brooke Baird, a sophomore goalkeeper, will be taking this kick.
And there's the kick. And we do shame with the head. And Janelle Mackman kicks it wide for central throwing. There we go with another central throw in. Looks like a free kick is being awarded to Central here along the sidelines. Senior number 13, Emily Duchesne, will be taking this. Going for the quick option here into the middle. And collected up by Brooke Barrett. They went for a quick restart there. That's sometimes good to catch the defense off guard, get a quick goal. Don't let the defense set up a wall or anything. Mm -hmm. Ooh, key turnover here. Central's on the attack. Emily again taking the kick. Into the box, saved by Brooke. Quick Played throw. Wide. Bedford on the counter here, plays it the ball down the line to Sailor Clark. Kicked out of bounds by Taylor Wright. Sarah Clark dribbles towards the end line, looks across, gets it in, Rachel, ball's free. Oh, goalkeeper and collects got it. got it. Well done. It was a good cross by freshman Sailor Clark. It's the ball in the box. And Sarah Clark. Stopped. Oh, right to the goalie. What a save by the keeper. Bedford's three up top consists of one sophomore and two freshmen here, but they're applying pressure well. Central gets control in the middle, coming on the left side. Playing it around the back now. Out wide to the right back. Bedford with possession. Kicked away. Janelle Mackin plays it forward. Central gets the possession in the middle of the field. Tori Vincent with the ball. Now to Sarah Misho. Off to Emily. With a quick move there. Central plays it across. And blocked out of bounds. Central will be awarded a corner kick here. Set pieces become such a key to this game, Joey. Um, you get to set up, you get to run a play, hopefully get a head ball in. Mm -hmm. Teams, you see a lot of teams putting focus on that nowadays. Uh, number 20, sophomore number 20, Devin LaCroix taking the corner kick. Ball into the box here. Brooks up for it. Oh. And Central with the goal. Finished off by number 12, Hannah Thompson, who finishes the goal. Haley Thompson. Central, 1-0 to a quick start. 23. On the field, Central is celebrating with Sarah Thompson. There, I think they are re awarding the goal to her. Good pressure there off the corner kick, getting for the box, 50-50 balls. A very nice ball placement by Devin LaCroix. Taylor Wright taking the kick. And out of bounds. And 
Juliana Anderson with the save for Central. About 34 minutes to go here in the first half. Punt up to about midfield. Asha Steele heads down the ball. Emily DeShane plays it wide. Kicks it to Sarah Thompson. And out of bounds. This will be a Bedford throw. Christina Campbell to throw it in here. Asha Steele flicks it on right to Emily. Emily kicks it down the field. And Bedford gets possession again. With a lot of pressure by number nine, Tori Vincent. Ball falling into the box here. Collected by Brooke. Well done. The punt coming forward. To Emily. Off Excuse me. Rachel Philbrook here. Central throw. Right to Tori Vincent. Who pops it back up. And out of bounds. Christina Campbell with the quick throw up to Sailor Clark. Central seems to be getting to a lot of these 50-50 balls here, Joe. Mm -hmm. Balls played down the line. Lauren Phelps is to it. Getting pressured by Central number 24. She kicks that out. This will be a green throw here. Sarah Thompson with the throw in. Ball rolls out of bounds for out of bounds for a goal kick. Bad for possession. Coming Quickly forward. going down the field. Out wide to Rachel Philbrick. She's coming down the end line. Taylor Wright coming up on that. Deflects the ball. Central clears up to about half. Ball's played back in by Bedford at the top of the 18 here. Looking to get a shot. Deflection and the keeper carries. Ball kicked up. And out of bounds. Central with the throw in. Green throw here in Bedford half. Ball's played in. Number 20, Devin LaCroix with the ball. Quickly taken away again by Bedford. And substitution here. Coming out is number nine. Tori Vincent. Coming in is number 25. Sarah Swetland. The substitution takes place with 30 minutes to go in the first half. <laughs> Abby Coquinos plays it back to her back line. Phelps clears it. Sailor Clark is pursuing. Taylor Wright clears it. Oh. Devin LaCroix looks to be getting up very slowly, but she is up now. The ball dribbles out of bounds and the ref will address the injury. She seems to be okay and we'll be able to stay in this game. Central throw in.
And ball out of bounds. It's going to be Bedford throw here in central half on the right side. Plays it in Sailor Clark's direction. She crosses it into the box. Shauna Goslin is on it. Ball is dribbling towards the end line here. Central's attempted clear is blocked, but they get repossession. They were able to clear it. Bedford foul here. Central free kick. Number 20, Devin LaCroix taking it, who was just previously hit pretty hard. She seems to be fine. Plays it in. Cleared by Christina Campbell. Rachel Philbeck pursues the ball. Plays it forward to Sailor Clark. Back to Reagan Chapa. Or, Taylor Wright kicks it out of bounds. Never mind. Confusion here. We'll be central throwing. <coughs> Bedford only playing with one captain today in uh, Abby Coquinos. Brenna Williams is out. And Emily Dushank kicks it out again. Another Bedford throw in. Christina plays it into the box. Cleared by Central. Abby steps two, but Central seems to be on a counter here. Playing it forward, long ball forward. Up to Shauna Goslin. Asha Steele gets possession. Shauna Goslin has played down the line here. She looks the cross. Beats a man. Crosses it in. Central clears again. Central with the ball. Quickly taken from Bedford. Played wide, but a bit far out of bounds. Green throw. Substitution on the field here for Central. Sarah Thompson has come out of the game. Ball click kicked high by number 13, Emily Duchesne. Bedford keeper gets possession here. Punted forward. Bedford has possession in the midfield here. Just kidding. Asha Steele brings it down the left sideline. And is out of bounds. Ooh. Controversial referee call there, but it'll be a green throw. Quickly headed out of bounds again. <laughs> green throw. It's about 20 minutes gone here, 25 minutes to go at Bedford High School Stadium. Quarterfinal match between Bedford Bulldogs and the Central. Little Green. It's a lot of green. Central is leading one nothing. Bedford clears. Play up to Abby Coquinos. Plays it wide. Bedford foul about the 35 yard line here. Central will have a free kick. <coughs> Taken by number 13, Emily Duchesne. Setting up. 
Ball is played into the box. Asha Steele carries it forward on the clear. Sailor Clark has possession around midfield. Plays it down the line to number 20, Emily Sabian. Central is able to clear. Bedford fouls near there, uh, near central bench. Central will have a free kick. Number 11, Taylor Wright will be taking the kick. I haven't seen Central commit a foul yet. No. Surprisingly. Asha Steele plays it up the line. Number five, Anna Bogurski has a throw in over here on the left. Referee stops the play for a substitution. In comes number 24, Hannah Schauver. Out goes number 15, Rachel Philbrick. Sailor Clark brings it down the left half. She crosses it into the middle towards Emily. Hannah gets on the end of it. Top of the 18, cleared again by Central. They're doing a pretty good job of that, Joey. Mm -hmm. Bedford's applying pressure well, but the uh, little green keeps uh, clearing it out. Their defense is looking very strong today. Sarah so Clark with a through ball here. Stop by number 11, Taylor Wright. We we'll then pass it to number 13, Emily Duchesne. Central looks to counter. Played pass wide it. to number two, Julia Chapel. Passed again to number 24, uh, Sarah Swetland. Kicked out of bounds. Another substitution here by the Little Green. Pierce, Sarah is going out and. Inez Lee, I believe, 20, uh, 20, some number. Or maybe this is Sarah Swetland. <laughs> Bedford's goalkeeper picks up the ball. Punt forward here. Janelle Macklin on the back line gets the ball. Pressured here. Here comes Devin LaCroix. Ooh. And keeper saves it for Bedford. It was good pressure there brought on by Central, bringing two girls forward. Almost countered well. Central's doing a good job of finding guys down the sideline to get girls in to behind the line. This will be a corner kick by Green. Little Green. Here comes 20. Uh, Devin LaCroix taking the corner kick again. She did a great job last time. Nice ball placement. Substitutions here at the uh, 25th minute mark. 20 to go. Two Little Green come out. One Bedford player comes out. Last corner kick Central had they scored on. We'll see what they can do here. Ball's played in the back post. Both teams miss a header. Ooh. Ball's rolling out to the other side. Played forward. And out of bounds. The central throw in. Lasher still gets possession, plays it along down the line to Joanna Selly. Sailor Clark gets it up top. You know, Mack with the ball over the top. Joanna pursues. Number 11 for Central. Taylor Wright. And kicks it out. Ball's out of bounds. Awarded to Green. Central. Bedford throw. Substitution here. Sailor Clark's coming out. Shauna Goslin is going in.
Sean Gosling gets the ball. Plays it back to the midfield. That tempted through ball doesn't connect. Abby Coquinos gets possession. Plays it wide to Christina Campbell. Crosses it into the middle. Number nine for Central. Tori Vincent collects. Kicked out of bounds, and it looks like Central will be getting the ball. Bedford as a whole seems to be playing higher up the field here. I think earlier in the game they were relying on their forwards a lot, but they seem to have brought the whole team up now. Nice through ball here down the line. It's going to roll out of bounds for a goal kick. Another substitution here. Hannah Schauber is going out. Number 22, Regan Schapa is coming in. Central goal kick. Just kick forward down the right side. It's going to travel out of bounds. White throw. About 17 minutes, 30 seconds left here to go. Bedford with possession. Stop by number two, Julia Campbell. Quickly regained by Bedford. Shot on goal, out of bounds. Just wide for a goal kick. Goal kick taken by senior number 11, Taylor Wright. Number two for Central and 22 for Bedford. Both fight for the ball. Central countering here. Bedford's able to clear. Central crosses it in. Time to clear. And a shot. Oy. Oh. And ball kicked out of bounds. Central kicks it out. Bedford throw. There's a good chance there for the little green. Applying pressure high. And Medushan crosses it to Devin LaCroix. Brooke Barrett collects. Bedford plays it out of bounds here. Central throw in. Pretty good crowd here today. Seems like both people brought or both teams brought a lot of fans. It's pretty good attendance. These two schools um, played last night in the uh, final regular season game for. Division One football. Central came, coming out on top, tw uh, twenty to sixteen here. Bedford looks to counter quick. The ball is thrown into Regan Chapa. Kicked away by Emily Duchesne. The ball is going to roll all the way back to the eighteen where Brooke Barrett stands to pick it up. The punt forward. Rachel Furbick is under it. Central wins the header. Ball kicked number nine, Tori Vincent. She plays it wide. Ball is back to the Bedford line here. Central is able to get a deflection, but it's a white throw. Ball starting to Reagan. She plays it forward up top to Shauna Goslin. Rachel Philbrook looks to make a run here in the back line here. What is on? Goalkeeper misses the ball. Central clears it out of bounds for a throw in. It's a good through ball there. Like for Bedford. They counter, they play in quick. Kicked out of bounds again. White throw. Bedford wasting no time on these throw ins. They're looking to get it in quick. 
Ooh, handball like here by. Handball. Yep. Handball here by White. Central will be playing it forward. Sarah Misha with the quick kick to Emily Duchesne. She plays it wide to Julia Chapel. Julia Chapel looking to play it up. Plays the ball down the line. It's going to roll out of bounds for a White throw in. Christina Campbell with the throw in here. Asha Steele, Asha Steele chips it over the first line. Central throw in. And Julia Chapel with the throw up to number 25. Good turn there by Asha Steele. But touches a bit too far ahead and Central takes Tori Vincent plays it wide over to number five of Bedford. Rachel Philbrick touches up the line. Central possession. Kick back to number nine, Tori Vincent. Central is good, doing a really good job of finding their players out wide here, trying to get crosses in. Bedford's more playing a through ball style to right up to their forwards. Got a white throw in. White plays it forward to nobody up top there. Number 11 for Central collects. She kicks it forward. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Here. Substitution here for Bedford. Number four, Sawyer Byron is coming in. Out goes Asha Steele. Abby Coquinos with pressure. Pressure brought on by Emily. Count is able to produce a counter for Central. <coughs> Looks like something might be on there, but Bedford is able to clear. Sawyer Byron with a throw in. Throws it down the line. It's trying to gauze in his direction. Central player plays it off Bedford. Taylor Wright gets possession of the ball again for Central. Emily Duchesne is able to clear clear it forward. Lauren Phelps, the header. Emily Sabian gets the ball. Emily Duchesne with possession. And it's going to be a green throw in. Referee stops play here for substitutions. Devin LaCroix and uh, Haley Thompson come in as Victoria Vincent and Julia Campbell come out. Play is resumed here. Central throw in. Throws it down the line. Sarah Phelps clears it forward. About 10 minutes to go here in the first half. Central with the lead, 1-0. Shauna Goslin tries to turn, stopped by number 11. Abby Coquinos looks to play it forward here, up the line towards Sawyer. Number 8 for Central plays it forward. Haley Goff. Anna Rogrowski over there for Bedford. Bedford clears it. Taken up the sideline by number eight, Haley Goff. Sawyer Byron there outruns her and gets possession back. Shauna Goslin plays it over to Sawyer. Plays it up the middle. Kicked away by number 11, Taylor Wright. Emily Sabian plays it over Shapa. Ball to Shauna Goslin here. Central is able to kick it out for a throw in. 
Again, Bedford being very direct up the middle, not not preferring to play down the sides as, as Central is. Christina Campbell throws it into the middle. It's going to be off white here for a green throw-in. Central has a large crowd of students on the sideline for their team. They're showing a lot of school spirit. Ball played forward here, right to the keeper. Keeper looks a punt. Both players contending for the ball. Central gets possession, kicks it forward. Cleared by Seems Haley. Seems to be Goff. on a break here. <coughs> Brooke Barrett comes out for the kick. Rolls out of bounds for a green throw in. Throw in is played quickly to Emily Duchesne. Ooh. Little collision there. Bedford take keeps possession. Played back to Abby Coquinos who plays it forward towards Emily Sabian. I mean, sorry, Shauna Goslin. Bedford dribbling forward, the right but left back. Taken by Devin LaCroix. Bedford with almost eight players forward here, past half, only leaving two back. Central is able to clear. Lands in Brooke Barrett's box and she collects it up. Looks to punch it forward. Bedford brings it down. Bedford seems to be doing a little bit better of a job here getting to the first balls. Bedford kicks it forward. Our goalie collects. About six minutes to go here in the first half. Again, Central with the lead, 1-0. Scored on the corner kick earlier in the game. Central throws it in. Bedford with possession here in the middle of the field, played up to White. Another direct through ball stopped by Green. Christina Campbell wins that first ball. Sawyer Byron goes up against number eight for Central. Ball to the middle. And kicked out by number 23, Sarah Thompson. Lauren Phelps plays it forward, freshman center back. Here comes Devin LaCroix, who kicks it upfield. The foot race is on here, the ball wins the raise out of bounds. It'll be a Bedford goal kick. Under five remaining. Substitutions by both teams here. Joanna Selly is up top. Asha Steele comes back into the middle. Central brings in number 17, Brianna Furtado. Ball rolls out of bounds again. Another goal kick. Another central substitution. Julia Chapel comes back in, out goes number 24, Sarah Swetland. Emily Sabian plays it forward. Two Bedford, Bedford Central's pursuit number 15, Inez Lee. Ball out of bounds, Bedford with a throw in. Bedford plays it towards the middle. Joanna Sally's on the end of that. Referee calls a foul on Central here. This will be a Bedford free kick. We haven't, they haven't had many, this, I think this might be their first free kick in Central half. Let's see what they can do here. 
Lauren Phelps collects the ball, brings it back to the referee spot. At about the 29, 28, 28 yard mark. Again, Lauren Phelps will be playing this in. Bedford committing a lot of players forward here, hoping to get on the end of it. Balls off a header for by Central. Shauna Goslin. And Bedford scores. What a goal by Shauna Goslin. That ties the game up at 1 1 with 3 minutes and 23 seconds left to go. That goal was a product of a green foul. The ball was played in by Sarah Phelps. Flicked on. I think it was an attempted clear by Green, but Shauna Goslin got to the end of it and kicked it by the keeper. Again, goal by number seven, Shauna Goslin. Shauna Goslin again pursues the ball down the right side here. And kicked out of bounds. Balls Looks like it's going to be a green ball. It's a big goal for a young freshman to score. Boosts your team here in the quarterfinal round. Nice ball. Kicked by number 20, Devin McCroy. Ball rolls out of bounds on this turf. Point throw. Throw in to Joanna Sally on the side. Central's possession on the right side here. <coughs> Pass towards the central, or center. Central, center. <laughs> Free kick here brought on by Green. Play quick, they play quick. Ooh, Brooke Barrett collects. Central's is really looking to play those balls quick. I think they've only actually stopped the ball once. So the goalies become very important, trying to organize quickly so the Bedford doesn't get scored on there. Joanna Selly has possession on the right side, dribbles towards the middle. Shauna Gosson hits the ball, plays it back to number 20, Emily Sabian. Asha Steele gets the ball at 20 yard line, takes a shot over the crossbar. That'll be a goal kick. Two minutes here left. The referees will be keeping time on the field. Taylor Wright with the kick for Central. On, Kept in bounds by number two, Julia Chapel. Cleared by number five, Anna Bogrowski. Central looking to apply some pressure here in the final minute. Couple of throw ins on the left side. 23 plays it in. Another throw in back to the middle. Tori Vincent with possession. Plays it down the line. Christina Campbell intercepts it, plays it forward for Bedford. Emily Duchesne gets the ball in the middle of the field here. Some nifty moves. Plays it towards the middle. Abby Coquinos is able to clear. Bedford kicking it forward here. Joanna Selly with the ball on the left side. Is able to collect it before the end line, chops it back. Crosses it in the middle towards Shauna. Shauna plays it back. Asha Steele at the 20 yard line. Takes a kicks shot. And over kicks it again. Bedford with some good looks here at the end. This will be a goal kick as the half winds down. All right, that was not our most fantastic half we've ever played. We looked like we were so nervous, we were just kind of sunk into the turf a little bit. Now we have a goal, we've been scored on, we have a half of experience left, and you know what, I think that's all we need. All right, coming into this game, the biggest worry that I had was we didn't know what it was gonna feel like, we didn't know what it was gonna be like, we were very young out there, all right? You gotta grow real quick right now and say, okay, that's what it looks like. It's done, and we've gotta go out there, not nervous, with a lot more movement. They're winning everything. Everything, 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 especially when we get it down the middle. We're not getting it to the outsides very well. Um, what is very effective is that long ball to the corner. Go ahead and play that. 
but we've got to get it there and in the middle it's going to have to be quicker okay we don't have time to take a nice easy slow switch it's going to be get to the ball and play quicker we can't get second balls because we're not winning the first ball all right win the first ball and be there for the second ball it's a zero zero ball game they didn't have very many opportunities right we can win this game it's zero zero right now one one it doesn't matter it's who wins the second half that goes on to play Wednesday night. And you've got to get rid of the nerves. That's the only thing holding us back right now. They're playing the long ball. We're handling it, okay? Um, because they're playing the long ball, we're getting sucked back. So we have defenders standing at the 25 when the ball's up at the other 25, which makes the midfield, who I've been kind of coming down on, it makes them have to work extra hard. You've got to transition together and transition back together. The central midfield, what's your role? What kind of movement do we need? Lateral movement, right? We're not getting that because their movement is forced to be back and forth and back and forth because we're not pushing forward from the back. All right? They have two girls up top. They're not super dangerous. They're going to put number 20 back up top. She's dangerous. But that doesn't mean that we suck Abby back to mark her. That means we have two very capable center mids that can contain her, contain her, contain her until we recover. All right, don't let them change our game plan. Just go out there and play. Questions? What do you guys see out there? It's quick? Okay, jitters out. Just play soccer. All right. Um, yeah, just. That's okay. Okay, and I think that's a good point, and it's the same point that happens like when you have the ball on the outside back, nobody's moving either, right? So you just have to play it long. So support each other. And it's the same thing when the strikers get the ball. Everyone's just kind of like, okay, sweet, go one-on-one. -on -one. All right, it's not gonna work. So every time, good point, right? Move, throw-ins, move. Joe, um, where are you? She's, only, you know, she's just being creative and making them think. She's making a lot of diagonal runs and it's making a difference right now. Diagonal runs across the top. When the ball's on the far side, remember this other weak side, you've got to be in the middle. All right, and when you get the ball inside the 18 or up top the 18, get hungry. We need shots. We can score on this girl. Move together, support each other. It's the same theme, right? Together, 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 together. And don't be afraid to take some chances. We look like we're trying to worry so much about everything we're doing. We're not getting outside of our box. As soon as we started taking some shots, right, we were having some creativity up top, that's when things started messing, okay? So don't be afraid. If you think you got that shot, go ahead and take it, okay? Put it on the frame, but take it. Okay, when you get the ball, if they're not moving, you have permission to yell at them to move, okay? Move, diagonal runs. You're going to hear, move, diagonal runs, move, diagonal runs. It's just friendly reminders. We've got to do those little things to make things happen out there right let's start making things happen i tell you if we start pushing pressure on them they're going to crumble all right we don't have to panic we're going to crumb they're going to crumble and on their corners they play them very deep right so keep the ball in front keep the ball in front don't give up corners they're very dangerous okay and they're dangerous on their free kicks don't panic just keep working hard keep working hard okay questions Comments? I have to say that the diagonal runs, like at one point, Joe, you made a streaking run across the field and you ended up on the right side of the field. That's what needs to happen. Right? They, you guys, if you make runs through their defensive back, they're not going to know what to do. Okay? Make those lateral runs, create some space, and then you guys can move into that space. Command the ball inside the box. We've had the ball lingering up top, top the 18, in, just inside the 18, right? Lingering, lingering, lingering. Just keep hitting. Asha, I like you coming forward and taking that shot. Keep hitting it. And if I don't care if you miss, don't get frustrated. Just keep hitting it. We need you to do that, all right? Center mids, we've got to push, which means backs, we've got to push, all right? Let's get excited. Let's get three minutes of just time to just chill and relax. Get some touches on the ball if you need to. Do what you need to do. But let's go out there and let's play a better second half so we can win this game, all right? Let's go.
Yes. Remind them that there was, you know, like three things that you want them to do. Yeah, at this point, what do we want them to do? All they want them to do is win the ball. So, so win the ball and attack. Take their heads up when they're winning. Yeah, be so scared that they can't make any decisions. Okay, let's go. Reagan, how do you feel on the outside? Okay. Yeah, and I want to have you out there for experience. All right, so you get that ball on the outside, go to goal. Because you're going to have Campbell on that side too, making runs behind you in overlap. Yeah, in overlap, you know, and do things like that and, and take chances. And sh you can, if that cloud goes by and you can shoot from out here, I can see it. Okay? Girls, come on. Yeah, Christina, if you take it middle, I'm literally wide open. Am I going on right now, coach, or no? What do you want to do? I don't care. I'm just asking you. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. I'll just give it back to you. Okay, we're going to give Joe a run up top with Reagan on the outside. Emily, Asha, um, Abby, you're in the middle. Okay, back four the same with Sean up top. Okay? Turn and shoot, turn and shoot, turn and shoot. Get the ball inside the box instead of trying to bring it down. A little flick, she's got that, she's got her beat, all right? Let's go. Girls, let's have some energy. I know we have time, but we'll just... <coughs> battle nice. wounds. Got anything? Play hard? No, I'll do it from here. No, we have time. They're not even up yeah, yet. Have... <laughs> just skip 13, I don't see that. It's head to tail, once we're 14 to 12. Ooh, yeah. I wonder if it's unlucky. Skip another number too, I noticed. Yeah. Isn't 13 the most? Like, you don't. Maybe. Come on. Or like Friday the 13th. Sorry. Sorry about that. Let's go. I did. It's better than a spider, I guess. Is there something on my hand that you look for? All right, that's going to be our good luck. Ready? Come on. Girls, play hard. Let's go. Bad for you. Look how good at your nail polish looks like my skin pigment. Oh my god. I'm gonna do a one, two, three, and then a one, two, three. Do the loud one, two, three. I like Girls, have some fun out there, alright? Score early so we don't get so stressed out. I've heard on three. One, two, three! Welcome back to Bulldog Stadium here featuring the quarterfinal between Bedford of Bedford, New Hampshire, and the Little Green of Central High School out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, Bedford has the home field advantage here as the three seed versus six seed. We are currently tied 1-1, and then we'll be playing a 40-minute second half here. Both teams switch ends. Um, Central still out there's bench. Uh, Bedford forming a little circle out in the middle here. Both teams seem to be playing pretty equal. We'll see how the second uh, second half goes. Been Both, back. Yep. Both goals have come off uh, set pieces here. One, a corner kick for Central and a free kick from about 25 yards for for Bedford. Um, so we'll see if both teams, um, if set pieces are going to be a critical part of the second half or somebody can pull away a goal from a breakaway or something. Central comes out into the field here. They started with the ball, I believe, so I think Bedford will be getting in here to start of the second half. Gone a bit cloudy here, so the sun will not be a factor right away for the uh, central goalkeeper as it was for Bedford goalkeeper in the first half. Shauna Gauzen to play the ball in. 40 minute halftime, or 40 minute half about to start. Asha Steele and Shauna Gauzen over the ball. Ref blows the whistle and we are on our way. Shauna Gauzen plays it out wide to Tina Campbell. Campbell kicks the ball forward in Shauna's direction. Cleared by Central, number 11. White throw in near their bench. Campbell throws it in. Asha steals on the end of it. Ball is played forward. It's a foot race here, but the ball is going to get out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for Central. <coughs> number 11, Taylor Wright taking the kick.
headed out of bounds by number nine, Tori Vincent. Shauna Gauls in here. Plays it up wide. Come to pass for Joanna Sally. He's cut off by number six or eight. Number eight, Haley Goff. Shauna Gauls plays it back to Osher Steele. Osher Steele kicks it. It's going to go out for a goal kick here. Central goal kick. Fifty-fifty ball is up in the air. One brought down by Green. Christina Campbell to tend the ball forward. Goes out of bounds. Green throwing. Bedford with possession. Clears it. Another white throw in. Osha Steele with possession, plays it down the line, intercepted by Green. Green kicks it forward. Abby Kokinos is on the end of that, goes right to Emily Deshane. Emily Deshane toe pokes it wide to number 12, Haley Thompson. Haley Thompson plays it down the line to number 20, Devin LaCroix. Passed into number 20, Devin McCroy. Bedford clears it. Joanna Sully plays it towards the middle, towards Osher Steele. Number eight, Haley Goff kicks it forward. <coughs> Haley Goff on the ball again. Kicks it wide right. Number 15, Inez Lee gets on the end of this. Plays it forward to Emily. Emily kicks it. Ooh, out of bounds here. Bedford throwing. Number five, Anna Bogrowski gets the ball in. Kicked ball out, of out of bounds again. By number 12, Haley Thompson. Sally plays it towards the middle, towards Asha Steele. Asha Steele dribbling, beats a man, puts it on goal here. Off and the crossbar. Oh, the goalkeeper comes out and collects. Nice job there by the keeper, uh, Lindsay St. Pierre. Shot from range there by Asha Steele. Personally, I thought it was going over, but well done. Shauna Gosling brings it down. Number 20, Emily Sabian plays it wide to Christina Campbell. Christina Campbell brings it up the right side. Plays it up the middle towards Joanna. Intercepted by number 23, Sarah Thompson. Emily Duchesne and Devin LaRue hit the ball. Number 12, Haley Thompson. Regan Chapa steals the ball, gets, and then gets, plays a 1-2, gets it back on the line here. She's looking to play. Plays it back to Emily Sabian, who crosses into the middle. Asha Steele on the end of it. Oh, gets a small volley. Rolls towards the keeper. <coughs> Sun coming back out now. It's about 35 minutes to go here in the second half. Bedford and Central tied 1-1. Punted away by Central's keeper. And going to be a green throw, green throw in. And quickly out of bounds by Devin McCroy. Fusion on the here. Other ref talks to the players. It's going to be a white throw. Anna plays it in. Picked off by number 20, Devin. Ball bounces in the 18, collected by Brooke Barrett. Good pressure there by Central. Central's been doing a good job keeping pressure on Bedford's defense. Number 24, Sarah Swetland takes up. Tori pass. plays the ball towards the corner. Foot race here. And out of bounds. Just touched out. That'll be a white throw. Here. 
Anna with the throw in. There's a substitution here. Rachel Philbrook is coming in. Emily Sabian is going out for Bedford. Asha Steele gets possession. Kicked up the line, but back to Bedford. Bedford's playing balls over the top. Stop by number 11, Taylor Wright. Passes it to number 12, Haley Thompson. To Devin LaCroix and out of bounds. <coughs> Central gives a throw in quick to the middle. Tori Vincent with space. Takes a shot. Brooke Barrett is there for the save. Central's getting good looks <coughs> off these quick restarts. Punt forward here by Brooke. Headed down by Tori Vincent, who just took that shot earlier. Bedford and company keeping possession here in the middle. Oop. And Emily Duchesne slow to get up, but. Seems like Emily might have taken a shoulder and elbow there. I don't think there was any intent by Bedford player. <laughs> Bedford and Central have some good rivalries, Joe. I know the Bedford boys team um, was stopped last year in the semifinals by, the bo uh, the, by their boys team. Um, Again, last night in football, there was a game. They all, these two teams seem to be competing pretty well against each other in D1. Definitely, definitely. Bedford had a great season. Jonas Sully with the turn here, plays it in the middle. Asha Steele gets to the end of it. Now Rachel Philbrick turns into a central player. <coughs> Passes it to Devin LaCroix, and out of bounds. Anna with the throw in. Play is going to be called back for a substitution here. Joanna Sally is coming out. Sailor Clark is coming in. Balls out of bounds. Central throw in in their own half. And here comes Central. Ball pass number 20, Devin LaCroix. Pass to the middle. And kicked out of bounds. It's going to be a corner kick. Devin LaCroix taking the kick again. It was a good play by there by Central. It's broken up by Christina Campbell. Central scored early on a corner kick. Let's see if they can do the same here. It's about 30 minutes remaining in this half. 10 gone. Here goes the kick. Ball played in. Brooke gets on the end of it. Hits it out. Central on the end of that. They're playing it back in the box, but eventually cleared by Christina Campbell. Played the Central's one central back now. Bedford pushes forward here, looking to get a quick counter. She clears it over the top of them. Bedford gets possession. Anna plays the ball. Loses the ball in the middle of the field there. She'd gotten through that. It might have been a quick breakaway or something. And Green throwing. Janelle Mackman down the line. Going to get fouled by number 20. Devin LaCroix. Central, or Bedford free kick out of their own half here. Lauren Phelps kicking the ball forward. Off Devin LaCroix's head. <laughs> Bedford Emily goes down again. Here. Bedford with a through ball. Fast central defense to Shauna Gosselin down the right side. She cuts it back. She crosses it in. Ooh. Ooh. That was a good opportunity there. Reagan Chop on the end of that just puts it wide. Substitution here. Rachel Philbrick is coming out. I believe Hannah Schauber is coming in. Green goal kick. Kick down the right sideline. Number 12 collects. Ball played in the middle. Up in the air right now. Tori Vincent. Plays it forward to number 24. 
off a off white for a green throw in. Play is stopped here for another substitution. Out goes number 23, Sarah Thompson. In comes number two, Julia Chapel. Chapel. Devin LaCroix in the middle. Tina Campbell clears it only to number seven, though. Bedford needs to clear the ball from their half here. They are, they do. Sailor Clark is on with a four on three here. Plays it towards the middle. Ooh, towards the central player who uh, kicks it out wide. Sailor Clark brings it down again. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a central throw. It's good to see Bedford players still enough energy to push forward here. Central plays it forward to the back line. Played on again by number 24. Devin LaCroix pursues. Out of bounds. It's going to be a green throw in. Not seeing much fatigue, Joe, between neither team right now. They both seem to be going pretty hard. Mm -hmm. It's a very even game. Throwing into the corner. Devin, Devin crosses the ball. Central the player middle. on the end of it. Asha Steele attempted to clear, does not get all the way out. Emily and Asha go for the ball. Asha clears. And cleared Sarah, out by Bedford. Taylor Clark has possession at the 40 yard line. Kicks it forward. Number 24, Hannah is on the end of it. Breakaway. Oh, she stumbles. Central collects. Saved by the keeper, Julia Anderson. What a great run by Bedford there. Hold on by the keeper, talking to her defender. Keeper punts it forward. 50-50 ball in the air. Bedford with the header. Handball by Hannah Schauver. Central kick at the 40-yard line. And we have a goal kick for Bedford. Ball pass to Tori Vincent. Almost lose possession. Pressure there by Reagan Chapa. Central has possession still in the middle. Plays it wide. Looking to counter. Central plays the ball up towards the middle. Cleared by Phelps. Emily Duchesne and Asha Seal seem to be matching up pretty well against each other here. Always vying for the ball. Bedford with the ball in the corner now. Plays it towards the middle. Reagan on the end of it with the shot. Just wide. Right, Central will be awarded a goal kick. Substitution here by Central. Off comes number 24, Sarah Swetland, and on comes... Number 25. Number 25. Number 25. <laughs> Down to 25 minutes left in the second quarter, second half. Joey's still mentally stuck in the football game last night. Bedford free kick here from the 25 yard line. Played into the box well. Central is going to have a throw in in their own half. Throw in then the line to number 25. Kicks it forward. No, no green up there, so Bedford will corral this and kick it forward. Janelle Mackman with the clear. Emily Duchesne is on the end of that. Abby Kokinos kicks it. Looks like a tennis match right now. Mm -hmm. Central finally brings it down, plays it forward. Christina Campbell on the end, pokes it forward to Asha Steele. Good play here by Bedford, getting the ball quickly up the line. We haven't seen them do that much. Now Sailor Clark gets on the end of that. 
Ooh. and just outside. Just wide of the goal again. Bedford getting shots. Not a lot on goal, but they're they're getting shots. Taylor Clark brings it down in the middle. Taken over by Central. Abby Coquino's pass is blocked. Central plays it wide to Devin. Janelle, the one touch forward. Abby Coquino's again plays it, volleys it down the line. Taylor Clark is in pursuing it with Inez Lee. Out of bounds, white throw. Anna Bergerski. Plays it into Shauna Goslin. Two freshmen here working well together. Anna crosses it in. Sailor Clark on the end of it. Plays it down wide to Shauna Goslin in the corner. She crosses Sent it one touch into the middle. Cleared by Central. Abby Coquinos heads it back in though. Oh. And Central's keeper with a nice save. I think Green stopped there thinking she was offside, but the ref is pointing to the far side there. Green held her on. Well done by the. Still 1-1 here at the quarterfinal match between Bedford and Central. 23 and a half minutes, or yeah, 22 and a half minutes left to go. Bedford heads it forward. Shauna Goslin chips it over the top. Bedford. The ball popped out, but saved again. Well done by the goalie. She's kind of had to, she's had to make some big saves here coming out, but she's done well. Central plays it forward, it's taken out by Bedford. Bedford seems to be applying a lot of pressure to Central's defense. Oscar Steele kicks down the line to number 24, Hannah Schauber. Hannah Schauber in a battle with number eight. Gets the cross off, but it's deflected by Green. It'll be a corner kick here. Joanna Selly coming in. Corner kick by Bedford. Played into the box about the six yard line. Central is able to get ahead on it. Number seven clears it, but only to Bedford. Christina Campbell gets the ball down the side. Tempted. And kicked out of bounds. And the cross leads to a throw in here. Bedford's looking to play quick. Unsuccessful though. Throw into Asha Steele near the end line. She crosses it. Oh, into the top of the goal. On top, not a goal, on top. That'll be a central goal kick. Taylor Wright taking the kick. The shade has almost reached the um, central goalkeeper. But the sun being a real factor right now. Back in my playing days. I remember those. Kicked out of bounds. Just one more element of the game you have to deal with. Bedford with the throw into Shauna Goslin. Shauna's attempted pass back to Anna goes out of bounds. Number 12, Haley Thompson will throw in the ball. Central is subbing two players. In come number 23 and number 24. Out going number 12 and 20. So I lied. Haley will not be taking the throw in. Number 23 will. Sarah Thompson. Central plays the ball forward. Number 25 gets on the end of it. A handball, however. Bedford will have a free kick at about the 42-yard line. Lauren Phelps kicks it forward. And right through to the goalkeeper. Taylor Clark with possession now down the left side. Going up against Inez Lee. 
ball kicked out of bounds. Nesley kicks it out of bounds. That'll be a white throw. Anna with the quick throw in. Saylor kicks it straight up. Trying to box out some people now. Shauna Gauls an attempted cross. is blocked. Number 24 corrals it. Brings it down the left side. Or right side. Excuse me. Number five, Anna takes it away, plays it up to Shauna Gosling. Shauna Gosling with a quick attempt to pass the Sailor is cut off by number seven. Number seven goes to clear. It'll be a white throw. Well done by Sarah McJod. Shauna Gosling on the end of this. Throw in. Off Asha Steele. Back to Shauna down the end line. Sideline. Asha Steele plays it into the box. Two Bedford girls on the end of it. And Ooh. field goal. <laughs> Through the uprights. <laughs> the Sailor Clark getting to the end of that. There was three Bedford girls there. <laughs> Green with the goal kick here. Kicks it up the line. Joanna gets her head on it. Central of a goal kick here. Yeah. My partner, Joey Retzinius, is cutting out here. Taylor Wallace will be providing the uh, whole commentary for the rest of the game. Shauna Gosling plays it in the middle there. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper collects it. Joanna Sully was almost there. Asha Steele heads it forward, number nine. Tori Vincent plays it up to number 24, who plays it wide to number 23, Sarah Thompson. Sarah Thompson kicks it down the middle. Brooke on the end of that. Good job blocking up that central attacker. The punt forward goes to half, or Emily kicks it forward. Emily plays it wide. Off of Bedford foot for a central throw in. Referee stops the play for a central sub. <laughs> Tori Vincent is coming out. Devin LaCroix is coming back in. Throwing goes to Emily, who kicks it forward. Central player race to the end line. It's going to go out of bounds. Bedford goal kick. Brooke Barrett with the goal kick forward. Emily wins it over, but it's called a foul. Free kick about the 40-yard line. Lauren Phelps will be taking it. Lauren Phelps just kicks it forward. Christina Campbell making a run forward on the right side, gets the ball, but it's a foul. Be a green kick at about the 25-yard line. About 15 minutes left to go here in the quarterfinal match between Central of Manchester and Bedford High School from Bedford, New Hampshire. Game is tied 1-1. Christina Campbell gets on the end of the free kick. Heads it out of bounds. Green throw. Green throw forward. Never came in, so that'll be a white throw. Christina Campbell to throw it forward. Julia gets the possession for Central, kicks it forward. Reagan Chap up to Joanna Selly, up to Sailor. Sailor Clark with some nifty skills here, winning the ball. Plays it out wide. Ooh, it's cut off by number 23, but Bedford keeps possession. Shauna Goslin here with a shot just over the top. She had just had to beat the goalie there on the shot. Bedford with a four on two there. Goes over the top for a central goal kick. 
was a good opportunity there for a Bedford offense. Goal kick here by Haley Goff. Central forward. Central keeps it in bounds. Ball's played over the top. It's a two on two here. Ball's rolling back towards the 18. Janelle Mackman gets it. Oh, the ref will be calling it back. Went out of bounds. Back in their own half. Central throw in. Central pops it up here. Green on the end of it, but it goes right to a white. Devin LaCroix plays it forward. It's cut off by Anna. Emily Duchesne clears the ball. Ball's going to roll down towards the corner flag. Warren Phelps is able to play it off a central player for, to win the throw. Christina Campbell throws it forward. Reagan Chapo with a nifty slide tackle there. Goes out of bounds for a green throw in. Central looking to play it in here. They have a lot of men or girls forward. 24 plays it wide, but pass does not go through. Anna clears it forward. Ball will roll out of bounds here for a central throw in their own half. After a substitution here, Central throws in the ball. Central kicks it forward. Abby Kokino's captain kicks it forward. Central gets possession on the far end line. Attempted pass forward goes right to Lauren. Lauren with pressure is able to clear it forward. However, out of bounds for a Central throw. Throwing goes to number seven. Bedford breakaway here. Sailor Clark is on the end of it. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. She shoots it. Well done by the goalie. Keeper comes out and makes the save there. Lindsay St. Pierre is doing, sophomore goalie is doing really well today on breakaways. She's had a, four or five good stops. Bedford with a bunch of chances here in the second half. Keenan Campbell throws it forward. Lauren Phelps over the top to Sailor Clark. Sailor Clark brings it down, looks to shoot. About eight yards wide of the goal here. Central goal kick. It's paused for substitutions. Out goes Julia Chapel. In comes number 12, Haley Thompson. Another goal kick here awarded the Central. Abby Kokinos is pulled down by number 20, Devin McCroy. Should be a Bedford free kick from a little behind the 30 yard line. Lauren Phelps to kick it in. Bedford lined up. Plays it forward towards the back stick. Keepers on the end of it. It's 
Central keeper punts it forward. Emily Duchesne is on the end of that, kicks it straight up. She wins the header, however. Austin Steele with possession on the right side. Plays it forward. Ivy Coquinos plays it wide, central number 12. Haley Thompson plays it forward. Janelle Mackman with the header. Abby Coquinos plays it forward. Battle up on the left side there. Ball is played on. Sailor Clark runs onto it. Taylor Wright defending her. Central plays it forward. Lauren Phelps kicks it forward. Into the box. Central goalkeeper Lindsay St. Pierre collects it. Lindsay with the punt. Reagan Chapa heads it forward to Emily Duchesne who kicks it towards Bedford's end. Brooke Barrett collects the ball at the top of her box. Plays it quickly wide to number five. Over number 12 gets the ball. Lee Thompson she plays it down the line. It's going to be off a Bedford player, however, for a corner kick. Central showing some signs of life with seven minutes, 30 seconds left in this half. Bedford goalkeeper Brooke is calling out directions for who to mark who. Devin LaCroix to cross it in. The ball is played in. Back stick. Emily Duchesne on the end of it. Ooh. Brooke Barrett with the save. Brooke Barrett punts it forward. Sailor Clark on the end. Bounces over her. Green defenders clear it. Emily kicks it forward. Going to roll out of bounds near central bench for a white throw. Another substitution here for white. Sailor Clark is coming out. Joanna kicks it forward. Run into by number eight. Bedford's applying pressure up high. Number 11, Taylor Wright kicks it forward to number 12, Haley Thompson. Haley Thompson kicks it off for Aiden Chapa for a green throw. Janelle Mackman on the end of the throw in. Abby Coquinos of Bedford kicks it forward. Intercepted by Emily Duchesne who plays it up the line. Tori Vincent with the ball in the middle. Plays it wide to number 23. Christina Campbell there to clear the ball. Gonna be a green throw in here near the 18 yard box for Bedford. They play it down the line, bounces by a central player. It's gonna be a goal kick. About five minutes, 30 seconds left in this first half. Bedford with a throw in up near half. Tina Campbell throws it in. Under five remaining. Asha Steele has it down the line. Ball's going to roll out of bounds. It's going to be a central throw. Down near the corner flag. Bedford's all pushing up. Hopefully going to contain them up there. Get position back. Anna. Gets possession. Abby plays the ball over the top. Central goalkeeper runs onto it, picks it up with her hands. Central with playing it down the line. Christina Campbell kicks it out. It's going to be a green throw. Sarah Thompson with the throw in. Number 24, Sarah Swetland. Go, 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 go. 
Green plays it up the middle. Bedford goalkeeper calls it off. She picks it up. Bedford plays, punts it forward. Christine Campbell with the head ball. Both teams with chances here under 10 minutes left. We're down to about three. There will be overtime if these teams remain locked at one here at the quarterfinals. Janelle kicks it forward out of bounds. Or, I think that was Lauren Phelps. Throw in here for Green at half. A foul here by White. It'll be a central free kick at about the 45 yard line coming in towards Bedford goal. Bedford setting a line around the 18 yard line. Central to play the ball in. They kick it in. It's a high ball over the top. Bedford's attempting to clear the ball. Up in the air by number nine. Emily Duchesne going for the long kick. It's going to be a goal kick. Just about two minutes left in this half. Central making some last minute substitutions. Brooke Barrett with the kick forward. Devin LaCroix heads the ball back. Lauren Phelps heads it forward. Christina Campbell and Emily Sabian playing some 1 2 on the side over there. Abby Coquinos wins that foot race. Kicks it forward. Inez Lee dribbling forward for Central. Up in the air. Central throw in. Bedford just looking to clear here, hoping for overtime. Awarded a corner kick. This is big here. Central's could be the last play. Central corner kick going against Bedford. Brooke Barrett calling out who to mark up. Central prepares to take the kick. Here comes the ball. Ball is played in. Back post. Brooke collects it. Central vying for a goal there. That was pretty close. Brooke Barrett pushes the team forward. Punts it up quickly. Asha Steele on the end of it. Heads it forward. She still run Joanna runs onto it. Cleared by Central. Emily Duchesne kicks it forward. Janelle Mackman brings it down. She kicks it forward for Bedford. Bedford on a counter here. Ball's in the air. Another chance by Bedford. Goalie comes through in the clutch though. Emily attempts to kick it forward and Nesli kicks it forward instead. Anna Brogowski on the end of that. Kicks it up for a throw in. Central playing the ball in quickly. Number 12 crosses it in. Brooke is there. Hold on. Hold it on to the ball there. She punts it forward. There can't be much time left on the field. We, we are all tied up here as the uh, second half comes to a close. We're going to send the mic down to Coach Winning. Um, again, D1 quarterfinals tied 1-1 between Central and Bedford High School here at Bedford High School. Nothing more we can do except for put the ball in the back of the net. Okay? It's been our problem all year. We've got to make it happen. We are playing fantastic soccer here, but we have to capitalize. We ha we've had so many chances. Okay? We cannot give up corners. They're very dangerous, and that's all they've had with us today. All right? I know you're tired. I know it's been a, a, a big game and it's been a lot of work. We can't get frustrated if we miss though. So yeah, we missed a bunch of shots, but how do we react to that? How do we respond to that? Do we give up and say we're never gonna score? We can't afford to do that and I think that's what's happening. 
okay? Go in there with the confidence that we can score goals. We're going to put one in. We have opportunities, and that's half the battle. Now it's just finding it, all right? Just find it. Have confidence. If you're tired, try to mentally overcome that right now, all right? We can do this. We're going to go back to Asha and Reagan and Abby in the middle. We're going to go Sean on the outside with Sailor up top. Okay, you guys are working really well off of each other. Okay, and uh, Joe, how are you? Fine. Okay, and Joe's going to be up top as well. All right, let's go, girls. All right, make it happen. Quick plays out of the middle. They're going to be coming at us. Quick plays out of the middle. Abby, where are you? Just keep playing it to the corners. Okay, playing it to the corners because you're tired. Send it long. Okay, we're good. Questions, comments? We're doing the right things. Find the net. We have ball. We have ball? Very good. So we're playing two tens now instead of two twenties. Okay. All right. We're gonna get it done. Whatever. I hope so. All right. One way or another. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Is Come on. Sudden, sudden death. We gotta put one in. Come on. Come on. Don't get frustrated, girls. We knew this was gonna be a battle, right? <coughs> we knew it was gonna be a battle. Now it just comes down to a little bit of extra desire and putting the ball in the back of the net. All right. We can do it. If you're tired, give us a couple more minutes, all right? Just work hard. Ten more minutes, all right? And let's put one in. Two minutes? I got to fix my hair. Let's go. Let's take the field first and show them who's boss. Hold on, something. Let's have low energy, please. Yeah? Yeah? Let's go, girls. Get excited. Come on. Come on. Final four. Let's go. Think about it. Final four. Come on. I don't care what motivates you right now. I don't care what it is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Welcome back to Bedford High School. We are in overtime between Central of Manchester, New Hampshire and Bedford High Bulldogs of Bedford, New Hampshire. We are tied at 1-1. There is no scoring in the second half. Um, it, the overtime regulations state that there will be two 10 minutes. Um, if one 10 minute ends, they just switch sides and continue. If neither team scores during those 10, uh, total of 20 minutes, um, they will go to kicks from the mark. It is golden goal, so if one team scores, it's over. Oh, it's just 10s? All right, it is just 10 minutes. Um, 10 minutes, then they'll keep switching um, until one team scores. There will not be any kicks from the mark um, during the quarterfinals. Winner of this will go on to play the winner of Pinkerton and Nashua North. Bedford will have the ball to start here. Again, the score is tied 1-1. First team to score will win in advance to the semifinals at Stella Stadium on November 6th at 4 o'clock. Waiting for the rest whistle here and play will resume. Both teams have played 80 minutes of soccer here, so they might be feeling it in their legs. We'll see what happens here in the first overtime. Bedford kicks it wide out to Joanna Selly, who stumbles. Plays it back to Christina Campbell, who kicks it up forward down the middle. Ball is played up to Sailor Clark, who kicks it towards the middle. Bedford plays it wide, or Central clears it wide. Down the line, Joanna. Through her legs, and out for a goal kick. Central goal kick here. Number 11, Taylor Wright with the goal kick. Right to Joanna Selly, who pursues number eight. Christina Campbell heads the ball forward here. It's up in the air, number 22 for Bedford. Reagan Schappa flicks it on. Emily Duchesne for Central brings it down, plays it wide to number 23. Bedford fouls Emily Duchesne and it was awarded for a free kick from the 25 yard line. Central pushes everybody forward and attempts for a long ball here. Seriously? 
Central with the kick forward. Abby Coquino takes it down, plays it wide. Rolls out of bounds for it'll be a central throw in. Abby Coquinos clears it forward. Sailor Clark on the end of it. Central player wins the ball forward. Christina Campbell up in the air. Emily Duchesne takes a hit here. Central player is down. Getting up. Referee stops the player to check on the player. Central has a free kick in Bedford half. Bedford drops nine players back here to defend. Central commits five forward. Emily Duchesne plays the ball in. Doing a Sally's attempt to clear skirts off her foot. Be a central throw in. Central throws it in. Emily Duchesne. 23, Sarah Thompson crosses into the box. Janelle, Mes Janelle Mackman clears it. Out for a throw. Sarah Thompson with the throw in. Sarah Thompson gets the ball down the end line. Cleared by Abby Kokinos. Central with the quick throw in. Out of bounds. It'll be Bedford throw. Christina Campbell in her own half to take the throw. Throws it in and Asha Steele kicks it forward. The ball was not fully out of bounds and Bedford player Sailor Clark picked it up. Result is a free kick. Looks, Central looks to play it quick. They kick it forward. Asha Steele and Devin LaCroix vie for it. Emily gets the ball, kicks it forward. Abby with the big header. Emily kicks it out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick. There's been some hits here in the game so far. Nothing seemed malicious, but people might have some bruises tomorrow. Sailor Clark, freshman, has it up top. Looks to play Joanna Selly through. Joanna gets a touch, has a shot. Right to the central goalkeeper. Central goalkeeper rolls it wide. It's a foot race now. Joanna Sully fouls. Central free kick. Emily Duchesne kicks it forward. It's flicked on. Duchesne places the ball down. Help a free kick here. She kicks it forward. Reagan Schappa kicks it forward. Back to Emily though. Ball's played down the line. It's going to roll out of bounds for a goal kick. Bedford's goal kick here with five minutes left remaining in the first overtime period. Again, it is golden goal. First team to score will move on to the semifinals. Bedford kicks it forward. Devin LaCroix flicks it up. Christina Campbell heads it forward for Bedford. Referee calls a foul. Didn't seem like much. Seems like Emily was reaching for the ball there, but she's awarded the free kick, however. She kicks it forward. Central player gets to the end of it. She's called off sides. Lucky for Bedford there. She was on one-on-one. -on -one. Brooke Barrett places the ball down and will kick the indirect free kick. She plays it forward. Over the side of a central player. But it goes right to Sarah McLeod. Janelle Mackin backpedals to clear the ball. However, it goes off a central player and will be a Bedford Throwing near their own bench. On, 
All done by Anna to clear that ball forward. Central throw in. Thrown from half. Thrown in. Devin LaCroix kicks it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Bedford. Emily collects the ball in the middle of the field, plays it forward. 23, Sarah Thompson gets the ball, kicks it up in the air. Central with the ball in Bedford's 18, but Bedford is able to clear the ball out. Number eight, Haley Goff kicks it out of bounds. Emily seems to be injured in the middle of the field. Referee stops the play to address the injury. Central players being helped off by the athletic trainer and her coach. Bedford throw will restart the play here. Referee is holding off the play still. Both teams are reorganized and ready. Christina Campbell of Bedford to throw in. Joanna Sally brings the ball down to the ground, plays it back to Tina, who kicks it forward. Through ball to Shauna Goslin. Plays it behind the line. Joanna Sully was on the end of that. Central clears. Ball still in their end though. Joanna Sully blocks the ball down, kicks it out of bounds. Attempted cross there looking for Sailor Clark. Ball goes out for a green goal kick. Or a ref actually called a handball on Joanna there, so. Ball rolls out of bounds. White throw, Tina to restart. Into number 22, Reagan. Asha Steele and Devin going up for the ball there. Asha Steele plays it wide to Shauna. Attempts to play it wide to Anna, but it's a missed kick. Central collects. Central plays it forward. Janelle Mackman on the end of this. Central brings it down the far side. Anna plays it out. Emily is returned to play for Central. Goes off white. Central throw. Central throws it down the line. Janelle clears it. Out for another throw. Time is being kept on the field. There's under two minutes left. Asha Steele carries forward. Plays it long. Ball. Sailor Clark dribbles past central bench pulls it back looks to cross it in here finds Joanna or Tina in the middle ball rolls through Tina pursues the ball however against Julia Chapel. Tina gets the cross off here in front of the net oh Sailor Clark on the end of that he kicks it off the crossbar goes out of bounds for a goal kick so close for Bedford there Bedford brought it on the left side, played it all the way through to the right. 
Tina got a cross off and Sailor put it off the crossbar. Central goal kick comes out. Uh, out of bounds for a throw. Tina plays it in quick. Reagan this time in the middle. She kicks it for. Time has expired here in the first overtime period. I don't. They're not. I think they just switch sides, don't they? First overtime period has ended here in the Division One quarterfinal between Central of Manchester and Bedford High School. Still tied 1-1. We're going to be sending it down to Coach Michelle Winnie. All right, 10 minutes left. Come on. There's nothing else to say. You know what needs to happen. You're doing the right things. We've got to finish. That's it, all right? And you need to dig deep because if nothing else, it's the last 10 minutes of running you're going to do today. So give it everything you've got, all right? Give it and we are back here at um, Bedford High School Central. Score is still tied 1-1, going into the second overtime period here. Overtime will again be 10 minutes long. Bedford will be defending the right side here. Hmm? He had to go, he had to go. Good plans. Yeah. Hey, Coach, do you want to grab a headset and uh, call the game with the uh, hot We're going out live right now. Sure. I am joined now by Bedford boys head coach Stuart Pepper. He will be helping me commentate the rest of the game here. How are you doing? Good, thanks, Taylor. Very nervous, very nervous, but like enjoying the game. Very proud of the girls. I think they've, they've, they've shown strong and they're obviously the better team. It's just a question of putting the game away. But uh, Central have fought hard as well. Very enjoyable game. I'm glad I'm not coaching. <laughs> Central here on the attack. Number 12 cuts it back. Ball is played up in the air. Bedford goalkeeper comes out and collects the ball. Well done. Brooke she's, Barrett to punt it forward. She's had a great game, Brookie. She's a very cool uh, customer. And it makes a huge difference having a goalkeeper back there. Just like yourself, Taylor, it makes a big difference. I think Bedford's going to get one or two good chances. A question now, who wants it? Who wants to win the game and be the hero? Handball there by, um, by Shauna Goslin. Could be a green kick out of their own half. Bedford fans, student section is uh, up on the fences here. About time, yes. We've been out cheered by the central fans. There's a lot of fans here today. Shauna Gosselin brings it down. Twenty, number 20, Devin, brings, kicks it forward for central. Foot raise here between two girls. Janelle kicks it out of bounds for a central throw in. Devin LaCroix to throw it in. So Taylor, what's going through your mind when you're going into overtime and facing penalties? Are you starting to think about it or? Are we do are we doing penalties today? Yes, we are. Yeah. No. Nope. We're just gonna keep doing overtime. Really? But either either way, it's really stressful. I mean, because it's sudden death here. If you make one mistake and it costs the team, you, you gotta deal with it. But you just keep your mind on it. You gotta be confident in your players. Exactly. 
Abby Coquinos kicks it forward. Sailor Clark misses the header, but it's still trying to bring it down. Taylor Wright for Central gets the ball. Sailor Clark attempts to kick, but it is cleared by Central forward. Anna Borgowski stops the ball, plays it back to Reagan. Abby Coquinos kicks it forward. It's in the Central box. Shauna Gauls in pursuing. Reagan plays it over the top. And Nez Lee brings it down. Joanna Selly attempted kick. Janelle Mackman here. Plays it. P picked off by Tori Vincent who plays the ball down the line. Devin LaCroix pursues but it rolls out of bounds for Bedford goal kick. It's who wants it now, Taylor? Who wants it? I just, I'm just i looking at some of the Bedford players now. I'm looking at Abby and she's been out for a lot of the season and she's heavy legged. I think Joe Selly looks injured to me as well. Which yeah. is like a tough, tough call for you know Bedford because she is the danger player with her speed and she looks like she's carrying something there. I think she was hurt her ankle earlier this Did. week in practice. Christina Campbell, great game back, back there. Definitely. Clearing the ball well. She clears the ball here up to Sailor Clark, who comes on the left side. She cuts it back to the middle, looking for a pass. Finds Asha Steele in the middle. Asha with a shot uh, over the crossbar. Asha's had three or four chances today. She's put them all over the crossbar so far. It's good to see Bedford still getting forward, though, with some life. Girls are definitely starting to get tired, though. They're going on um, 95 minutes of play here. Bedford plays it. It's going to be a throw in down near the corner flag. They've got a great future, though, the girls. They've just, you they know, do. the four Start. or five freshmen are just yeah. outstanding today and look the part. So, Started. three years of that. They started seven total sophomores and freshmen today. That's great. I might ask them if they can come play for me next year. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna Sully heads it forward to Sailor Clark. Sailor with her back to the goal. Looks to turn. It's cleared out by number 11, Taylor Wright. Emily Duchesne kicks the ball forward. To Devin LaCroix, He's able to keep the ball in bounds. Janelle cuts it off. She has possession. It's off Janelle for a throw. Elmi <laughs> Duchesne about the 30 yard line looks to kick it forward here. Oh. Uh oh. Well done by Brooke Barrett coming out. Well, I th I'm thinking it's penalties. I don't know what you heard, uh, Taylor, but we, we played the playoff game last game, first round, and the referee said it was two tens and penalties. I don't know whether it's different for quarterfinals or whatever, but we'll maybe get that checked on. We'll find out. About four minutes, 30 seconds left here in the second overtime period. Both teams still vying for a goal, tied at 1-1. Whoever scores first wins here. Sarah Thompson with the throw in down the line. Lauren Phelps controls it. It's picked off by a central player who crosses it into the middle. Devin LaCroix on the end of it. Devin LaCroix with her back plays it back to Isres Lee. Central player with a throw in here. About three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Abby Kokinos is fouled. Bedford will have a free kick in their own end here to get it forward. She's had a tough game, Abby. Yep. You can see that she doesn't want to have this as her last game. You can see that with Janelle as well and, and the other seniors. It's, you can see it in their body language. Yeah, Abby the lone captain out there again today. Brenna Williams is out with an injury. Central. Central look. It's going to throw it in, but they are pausing right now for a substitution. Freshman Julia Chapel comes in on the far left side. Central throws it in. She now kicks it out for a throw in. 
Central with a lot of pressure here in the uh, remaining few minutes. Burke Barrett picks it up off her line, looks to punt it forward. We need to get some bodies forward now. Come on, come on, Whites. Where's your legs? Call goes against Bedford here. Green will be awarded the throw and off a deflection. Janelle Mackman kicks it forward. Anna finishes the job, clears it up the half. Goes right to number seven, Sarah McCod. Shauna Gosling applying pressure here. Central gets the cross into the middle. Confusion on Bedford's end, but two girls try to clear it. Austin Steele flicks it on to about half. Central players there to meet the ball. Kicks it straight up. Bedford players definitely looking tired out there. Here we go, Santa. See there, Clark pursuing the ball. Goes off her foot. It'll be a central throw in. Time is being kept on the field as we are under two minutes. It's the one thing I liked about high school saw, or more one of the uh, technical rules that. The clock um, is kept on the field under two minutes. In college, the um, clock just runs down and it gets a bit confusing at the end. But uh, right, another chance here. Oh. Asha she Steele just plays a little bit wide. You can see she's frustrated. She should have taken a touch. Yeah, I think she had opportunities to get closer to the goal and have a better opportunity. But good to see she's still working hard for the team. Christina Campbell attempts to clear it in. It's going to bounce in the field and then go out for a throw. So I, this is going to be penalties. I'm, I'm positive. And that is the worst feeling as, you know, for a team and your coach, you know, going into penalties. But at the same time, it's keeping that cool head and, and uh, getting the job done if, if they possibly can. There we go. We've still got a chance. It's going to be ruled a central throw. Both teams giving it their all here at the end of the game. Or end of the second overtime. Oh. Bedford with a chance here. Shauna Gosling gets it on the far left. She's yes, still got possession. Yes. She yes. shoots, she finishes, and Bedford has won. Shauna Gosling with the goal. Bedford. Finishes of under two minutes remaining. Central concedes and Bed Shauna Gosling with the finish to win two to one. Bedford will move on to play the winner of Pinkerton and Nashua North on November 6th at 4 p.m. at Stellos Stadium. Great, great way to finish. You know, Definitely. and you just knew of all the players on the field actually, if she had an opportunity in front of goal that she would have the class to do it. So congratulations to the girls and to Coach Winning. And uh, you know, I think they've got a good chance. I think they could cause an upset with Exeter as well. So uh, good luck to them. And thank you for having me for the last 10 minutes. I'm the lucky omen. It's great to have All you. Right, cheers, mate. Bye. We're going to send it back out to the people. Well, it kind of summarizes our season. I wish you spoke Spanish right now. <laughs> <laughs> so many things. Keeper, great game. Great job. Great game. Great game, girls. Great game, girls. Great game. Good job. Good game. Good game. Good game, girls. Good game. You should be proud of yourselves. Good job. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Be proud of yourselves, girls. You played great. Good game. Hey, great season. Great job. Great game. Great game. Hey, thanks. Great game, you guys. Great game. Thank you. Great game. Great game, Peter. Girls, wait for everybody, please. Wait for everybody, please. Wait for everybody, wait for everybody. Great game. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. What a game. And we are here live with the winning coach, Michelle Winning. Congratulations, coach. What are your thoughts? Uh, that's the way the playoffs should be. It was exciting. Um, 
Electronic came up big with two goals in the first day as a freshman. That's uh, a lot to ask and just a lot of excitement, a lot of experience with Phil today and I'm just really proud and excited for the girls. Uh, what did you feel after the first overtime was over? I mean, it was quite suspenseful. We started talking about penalty kicks. Um, we we had so many chances in the game and we just couldn't capitalize on them. So at that point, I kind of figured we may, we may bring it to PKs and try to sort of start uh, getting into that. But all day, the girls were doing all the right things, creating opportunities, playing hard. And it just wasn't that clear in that because that's one of the new last season was going so. so what do you think about the next one? I haven't had time to think about it yet. Um, I'm just excited. You know, um, it's Pinkerton. I know that for sure. They won in penalty kicks today and it's a two three seed and you know we're up there. Um, I think we've built some confidence from today and we have four freshmen out there and um, some key leadership a lot of desire and heart. Thank you so much and congratulations for the cover and course. It was a hard fought game by both teams today. Um, could have gone either way. Bedford prevailed in the second overtime with under two minutes to go. Again, final score 2 1 and a double overtime win for Bedford Bulldogs. I'm Taylor Wallace. Thank you for joining us today on BCTV. We'll see you next time.